good morning everyone today we're going to be talking about the ngs headline recap and well everything i predicted in my predictions video came true so pretty cool i guess not in a very good way unfortunately so those with high blood pressure please take a seat those who need their copium go take your copium now inhale as much as you can and let's dive into this All right, the very first thing I want to talk about is an event slash campaign that is happening right now, and that is the Zutomeo X NGS campaign. Now, I know a lot of people don't know who Zutomeo are. They are a band and they have some pretty sick music. I will leave the link in the description below of the song that they made in collaboration with NGS. It's actually a banger. I really like the song, very, very catchy. But in order to participate in this event and get free items, you're simply going to type Zutomeo right here. You can type it in area chat, party chat, alliance chat, whisper, group chat, it doesn't matter. Just type in Zutomeo and then press enter. And once that is done, you're simply going to come to systems over here, get campaign items and right here, receive on account. You're going to notice that there's the Zutomeo collaboration giveaway campaign and you get a free hairstyle as well as a free head mount. Once you redeem it, you can simply consume the item and it will bind it onto this character. Keep in mind that you only get one copy, so it will be bound to the specific character that you consume the ticket on. All right. The next thing I want to talk about is the Sonic collaboration campaign. So this will begin on September 1st until September 29th. We have a whole login event, basically log in every single day, and we get a whole bunch of free cosmetic items. Now, keep in mind the free cosmetic items only include the top row over here. I do not know about the stamps, the Tails movement ability, as well as the Sonic movement ability. I have a feeling that some of these are going to be bound to AC. Most likely these two motion abilities are going to be locked behind a paywall, but the stamps I'm not entirely sure. Next up is the Autumn event. So this is the big event that we're getting for the duration of September. The town definitely looks very pretty. They've made some changes in all the exploration zones as well. And in Central City, there's going to be a bunch of these mischief symbols, which we need to go find. So it's a little bit of like a treasure hunt in Central City, but when you find all of them, you get rewarded something. We don't know what the reward is, but they said that there is some sort of reward. So definitely look out for my video because uh, you know me, I'm going to find everything and make a video about it. Now, of course, this wouldn't be an event if there wasn't killing involved. So Shiandi is back and yes, her name is pronounced Shiandi. I listened to the live stream like four times to get her name down. But if you guys want me to just call her event lady, let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to just call her event lady. But she has a very nice looking outfit over here. And of course, she's giving us a bunch of new quests. Now there are going to be seasonal weapons and this time the element is of ice. And of course the Rappies are now Moon Glaze Rappies so they have a different outfit. So the autumn event unfortunately is exactly the same as the ninth anniversary event. It's literally a copy pasta. There's going to be a bunch of enemies that are now going to be weak to ice element instead of lightning. Since we don't have the glisten weapons anymore we now have the frostel weapons. However, unfortunately, they did not include the rifle, twin daggers, knuckle, or bow for the Frostel weapon series. So it's going to be the similar thing like the whole Glisten series thing where there are weapons missing. I really don't understand why they did this. This is probably something that they were just like, oh, well, whatever, we copy pasta and just put in the popular weapon like the katana in and they just left out these weapons. I believe they didn't include rifle, twin daggers and knuckles in the ninth anniversary and now they just forgot about bow as well, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now the urgent quest bosses are also going to be weak to the element of ice. So you can see here Petas Vera as well as Nexfera are both going to become seasonal enemies, which means they are weak to the Frostale weapon series. Now these weapon series unfortunately are still three star, so so they're not gonna out DPS your evil coat weapons or your stragas. So, uh, but at least you can do more elemental downs, I suppose. Now there is a new scratch called Moonlight Sanctuary, but we're gonna watch it at the end of the video. Now the second half of the autumn event will begin on September 15th, and it is pretty much the same thing as the whole ninth anniversary thing. As I said before, we have our daily missions, our weekly missions. You have the event shop. They did change something about the event shop. You can now buy a hundred of the alpha reactors. So that is 350,000 Masetta that you can gain from this event. And there's also 200 star gems. So that is very, very enticing. However, once you buy out those things and buy out everything in the shop, 
there probably won't be much else to do, unfortunately. So as usual, on the second half, seasonal enemies will appear in different sectors. So these are going to be the combat sectors and the shop will add new items. Now, do not expect the shop to refresh because it didn't refresh on the ninth anniversary. So I think it's pretty copium to uh, expect it to refresh this time. So to elaborate a little bit more on the Sonic collaboration campaign, over here you can see that we can get all of these beautiful cute stamps as well as these items over here. So what they said on the stream was we will get the Tails Mag device if they hit a Twitter goal. These two were from the login, just log in every single day and you will obtain these two items. I don't know about the stamps over here though, they haven't specified how to get the stamps. Now you can see there are more items over here which we can get, however this is where the paywall comes in. There will be other campaigns where you can get additional in-game collaboration items by completing limited time quests, adding friends, using AC, and activating the premium set. So using AC or activating the premium set, I am going to assume that these items over here, maybe even the entire bottom row over here, is going to be locked behind a paywall. I wouldn't be surprised at all, mainly because they've always locked all of these motion items behind paywalls. If we don't get the stamps, I will be pretty upset. I mean, asking me to pay for a stamp, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. By the way, these are poses and they are not outfits. You cannot wear this and pretend to be Sonic or Tails while running around. This is a static pose, so it's exactly like an emote. You just do it and you do this pose and you're stationary. So you can't run around as these mascots, unfortunately. All right, next up is the new AC Scratch Moonlight Sanctuary. They have some really nice looking cosmetics over here. I think the one compliment I can give NGS is all of the new outfits for NGS look freaking amazing. So uh, eh, there you go Sega, you get a compliment or two from me occasionally. But let us begin. So this is the first one, the Shrine Priest and Maiden theme battle wear. But I like, yeah this looks really cool, this looks really really nice. Kind of reminds me of a Scaramouche in uh, Genshin. <laughs> Uh, this looks pretty cool. It's got streetwear. We've got some bunny girls. Uh, I quite like the material that the bunny girl outfit's made out of. But this looks so good, dude. This looks really nice as well. They all look just so good, dude. Really, really pretty stuff. Some face paint and stuff. Look at this mask. Look how intricate that is. So cool. But, you know, it's not my style, I won't be wearing that. These headphones look really dope though, the bunny ear headphones. Pretty cool. Got some, uh, these are alright I guess. We've got some emos over here, moon gazing. We got the fox pose over here. Look at this, this is Fabuki's thing. This is what she does all the time, right? I could swear this is Fabuki's little fox hand symbol thing. Yeah, it, it has to be, it is. And then we've got the rabbit dance over here. But I've never seen a rabbit dance like this, unfortunately, so I, I don't know what they're smoking, but pr pretty cool dance. Looks like the can-can to me. And then we've got the idle soft. We've got some more fox. Look at that. Look at that. That is Fubuki's hand symbol right here. Look, I'll post a picture right here. Boom. It's Fubuki. Where's my Fubuki Hololive Girls collaboration, Sega? Now of course we can't forget about the best part of the stream and that is the bouncer trailer. So they did share a little bit about the bouncer. Unfortunately it's not coming out this month. We're gonna have to wait until October. So next month before this comes out. But let's watch the trailer together. New glass bouncer. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that wink. Oh so stylish. Okay, it looks really weird on her back, but when she's uh, hovering like that, oh yeah, look at that, dude. Looks so sick. Oh man, look at that, dude. Dude, jet boots look really, really cool. They're a little bit more complicated, though, because jet boots have like a lot of different uh, elemental spells. So you see there? You can do different spells. There's lightning, there's ice, there's fire, you've got, you know, it, it's a lot more complicated than just like a normal class where it's just like, oh yeah, unga boonga and hit the enemy till it dies. That looks like freaking Ayaka's Semetsu! Freaking awesome. Then we've got Soaring Blades. I played a little bit of Soaring Blades back in base PSO2 when I was leveling up my bouncer. It's a lot more uh, flashy and a lot more easier to comprehend for my monkey brain. 
but it's really cool because look at that. You're literally, um, what's that guy's name uh, in, in Final Fantasy XV? I forgot the main character's name. LOL. Wow, how did I forget his name? I don't remember. But anyway, you're, you're like that guy. You've got all your royal weapons or whatever they're called and you summon a bunch of floaty floaty stuff. Look at that. It's pretty cool. And here we get some action scenes. I do apologize for the uh, unclearness. This is the best we've got on the stream apparently. A lot of a uh, YouTube compression going on over here. But uh, yeah, that's it man. Bounce into October. And that's it. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!